Truman Lake Adventure Club. Lots of stuff coming up down the pipe here in July for gravel road riding. Uh, we have been working on the Butterfield Stagecoach experience for a couple of years. 254 mile uh, gravel road experience from Springfield to Jeff City. The neat thing about this is, is now we are seeing all these rides and races uh, utilizing this. And now we have the Epic 150. Uh, Josh Schrock and Don Daly um, moved the race from Lake of the Ozarks up into the Warsaw area. And this ride is going to cover from Warsaw to Otterville and back on the 150. Uh, we'll have Warsaw, Lincoln, Coal Camp, Florence, finally got that name down, and Otterville. Um, it's really great talking with everybody along the way, uh, getting behind this. And it's really fun to know that we're bringing 251 riders uh, to our area. That it really helps out. And today, we're going to kind of talk a little bit of why these things are important to this type of community. And guess what? I got Marco here and I got Travis here. Uh, Velo Plus is uh, down here in Warsaw. Uh, enjoying the town today. Absolutely. It's always enjoying the town. It's <laughs> so awesome down here. So we've met a few years ago through the mountain biking out the mountain bike park. And now this is a little bit different. Gravel road riding, more like bike packing. Uh, you guys came in today and rode more of our levee trails yeah. and, and kind of got the lay of the land that way today, right? Absolutely. And never had a chance to do that. Every time we come down here, we go ride the mountain bike trail. So it was nice to go check it out. The trail system, the paved trail system around here is really nice. Nice. Uh, did you make it up to the dam in Shawnee Bend? Uh, you got to see the lake? Yeah, we went up to the state park, um, saw the lake. We didn't go up that trail. You can tell us it takes off from the boat ramp. Yes, yeah. We was on gravel bikes. Yeah, and yeah. It's raining. And, but no, it's, I mean, I was telling Mark, just being here today, I'm already planning on a trip to bring my wife down to Warsaw. I don't think she's ever been to Warsaw, but nice. Um, I took some pictures and we're going to come down and spend a couple days and just relax and hit the trails. And, and it's nice because we were, while we were on the way over to the studio today, we talking about stand up paddle boards and kayaking. You know, it's just a good adventurous yeah. place here. So the uh, epic is Jan or January. <laughs> I think in cold weather. <laughs> I don't think anybody's yeah, coming, man. <laughs> July, July 10th, uh, quite the opposite of January 10th. Um, but July 10th, um, they'll be leaving out of Drake Harbor, and you know this is this is pretty neat stuff that's happening here. Yeah, I'm excited about it. It's. Uh, the gravel scene has grown a lot, obviously, in the bike world in the last five or six years. And having kind of been around the beginnings of things like uh, the Dirty Kanza, now Unbound, and the direction they chose to go, seeing events like this is really where I think things grow for, yeah. the, for the industry as a whole. It's great for towns, it's great for your average Joe rider, somebody who wants to come out just challenge themselves. You're not necessarily dealing with 2,500 riders, you're dealing with 300. Uh, it just has a more at home quaint feel. Yeah, kind of and a grassroots movement. Yeah, grassroots know? is definitely the word to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Sure. it's, you know, uh, I, I've done a few of these and um, I see, you know, I'm a, I'm a 12 mile an hour rider, but when you see somebody pumping out 22 miles an hour for yeah. 200 miles, <laughs> uh, I'm never there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It, it, like I said, it's just kind of the average Joe's ride, and that's not meant in a negative way. It's right. just meant that most of us don't train for a living. We have jobs, and then we like to go out on the weekends and ride our bike or just sneak a ride in here and there, yeah. and then occasionally challenge ourselves to that big 100-mile or 150-mile day. Uh, and this gives you an early awesome opportunity in a, I don't know, like, it's a weird word to say, but a safe atmosphere. Yeah. In a sense, you're not competing and looking at all these, like, pro racers. It's going to be... Just, yeah. In my opinion, more what the sport needs. Uh, gravel got its start that way. Mountain biking got its start that way, and yeah. then it turned into something different. And now you kind of see it working its way back. Gravel, I think, you're going to continue to have great events like the Epic yeah. that yeah. are going to thrive, in my opinion. And, so. it, and it really brings the point you said earlier. Hey, my son and I are getting into bike packing. Oh yeah. You yeah. Know. He's 15, and we've taken a couple two, three day trips, and and this event. It's interesting. For me, I have no interest in racing anybody. Yeah, 150 miles or 50 miles or five. But you, 
I was in when you told me about the lady that was making brownies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not going to race anybody, but I'll ride and stop and eat a lot of brownies. I and mean, that's Travis how I rides for brownies. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to remember that. I'll just ride with a brownie. <laughs> yeah. 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 Off the back of your Come on, Travis. Come on, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's what that's what we're all trying to do here too is really highlight our area but bring these families oh, together right. and get these uh, outdoor adventures. Uh, Jim Bradshaw and I really like to say we like to make people a little uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, that's, not just because we're in the room, yeah. but because we're going to make them do something that they yeah. they probably wouldn't go. Man, I should go and do this today because no one in their right mind wants to really go do it. But it's like that one challenge: can I do it? Um, you, you got a lot going on, not just the distance, but the temperatures. Because yeah. July in Missouri, you don't know if you're going to get an 80 degree day or a 95 degree day. You don't know if the humidity is going to be 40 percent or 70 or 80. You don't know where the wind's coming out. <laughs> yeah. of. Uh, you don't know what the gravel is going to look like. And if so, you wait five minutes, it's all going to change <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like our ride today, it started off 72 and rainy, and by the time we were done, and it was only like an hour and a half difference. It was like mid 80s and all sunny. Yeah. So, uh, I think you're going to. I think you're. It's going to be an awesome event. The, the event's always been great. I think Warsaw is a much better venue than Lake of the Ozarks. You guys are making a very, very obvious attempt to attract biking and other outdoor, outdoor activities to the, to the community. And this is only going to help with building that, that ideology, that whatever you're going for, I think. Yeah. So. Well, thank you. And, it, and it's great to have uh, folks like you get involved, you know. Uh, Velo Plus, where is Velo Plus located? We're in Lenexa, Kansas, uh, suburb of Kansas City. Okay, uh, how long does it take for you to get down here? It's a solid hour, 45 minutes. Okay. Um, and I do it, I don't know, at least once every two months, just yeah. because I love the I love the culture here. You guys have done a good job. The mountain bike trails are really what I enjoy. It's mm -hmm. kind of got a backcountry feel. You're not, like, things that are happening in Bentonville obviously are great for the sport for different reasons, but the trails have a very manicured feel. Yeah. And they're all, like, once you get 10 miles in, you kind of feel like you're riding the same thing. The stuff here is different and kind of raw, and yeah. I really like that. And that's what we really strive. I like to call it as pure cross country. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It's, it's um, a true mountain bike. It's what I grew up mountain biking. When I was 17 and first starting to get into it, now 44, I've been mountain biking for a long time. That's what I remember the trails feeling like, and I, it's a throwback to that. And I really appreciate that you guys went about building your trails that way. Nice. So that's well, what keeps me coming back. Yeah. So Growl is uh, right around the corner. July 10th is the Epic 150. Guys, this is a party also. This is to celebrate all this great outdoor adventure stuff. Uh, there's going to be music, food. Uh, uh, bees knees is gonna have beer down there. Uh, we're gonna have people like Marco and Travis out there uh, doing some amazing things. Um, right now there's 251 signed up for it already, which is fantastic. We're, we have a cutoff at 300. We think that that is kind of like the magic number uh, between the three different uh, disciplines, the 50, the 90, and uh, the 150. Uh, but you guys are going to go through some amazing towns with some amazing people uh, out there cheering along because handing uh, out brownies, handing out brownies. <laughs> uh, the uh, mayor up in Otterville and the uh, Valerie at the city office. Thank you all for jumping in. They're opening up the swimming pool. It sounded like there might be some shaved ice served. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Otterville Mini Mart. This one goes out to you. We did a one, the 104, and the lady came out, dropped her tailgate, made a picnic area for us. We needed food. So Otterville is in. Awesome. And it's really great. We've met a lot of friends, uh, connecting communities together. Mm -hmm.